Hey guys, welcome back. Fisher Middle Tennessee. I got another one here. This one's going to be pretty simple. Um, I've got some hollow flash sided four inch jerk baits here that I'm going to do a simple shad pattern on, but I've got a new color that I want to try out. It is Wicked Flare Green Blue. Cretex Wicked Colors. It's got a real nice shimmery pearl metal flake color in it. I think I need to put black on before I put this on to make that color pop. So what I'm going to do is I've already done this one, but I'm going to just cover it with the netting here to get a scale pattern. Let that whitish pearl that I sprayed on top of there. I did like an opaque white and then a silver pearl just lightly across the top and the belly of these so you can still see that flash on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly go over the top with the black. I'm going to leave the bottom the pearl silver and then once I go over that, I'm going to hit it with this and see what it looks like. So let's get started. Fish it. Fish it. Fish it. He's fishing it. First things first, let's get this black in here. Get my little sponge here. Get rid of that tip dry. Opaque black is the worst for me with tip dry. So let's go, we're just gonna go right down the back. Just going to do the back because I don't want to hit the sides because it's got that flash in there. I want to keep that flash on it. Hit these with a second coat just right down the back. Here's the black. Now let me get this rinsed out and then we'll go to this Wicked Flare Green Blue. So this is the first time I've used this color. I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. So here we go. Turn up my pressure a little bit.
coat. We'll throw the coat on there and then we'll heat set it. to try this color on different base coats just to see what it looks like. Let me try it on a silver. Because every base coat you put on there, the top coat's going to look a little different, so... I don't know. There we go. I think that's going to be a pretty neat color. Like I said, I'll have to try it with different base coats to see how the color changes. Maybe put it on a pearl white, see what it looks like. Put it on a pearl silver or a quicksilver chrome and see what it looks like. But on the black, I think it's going to look more of a more of a greenish color. But I think it's going to look pretty sick either way. So let me heat set these again and then we'll pull the masking off and see what it looks like. So I got them heat set, so let's get this peel off here and see what it turned out like. sick it's a cool color you can see it under there it's got that emerald green almost go back here and I'll put some opaque black back in it and just do some details around the gill plates and the fins and the eyes and then we'll uh, put like a little kill dot on it and wrap this thing up get the rest of these peeled off and then we'll get at that so I decided to get a little wicked crimson out and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit a little bit on the throat of these right through here and then I'll go back and do the details on the fins and gill plate and all that. Turn my pressure way down. There we go. Start off the body of it there on the bill, on the tape, so I don't put too much on it. That's all I want right there. Just minor little details. Sometimes makes it pop, makes it worth it. Too much.
it right there. Alright, get that cleaned out and then we'll go to the black. Got the black in, so now we're good to do some details here. I'm gonna go around the eyes. About on the side here. Let's see, let's go about halfway here. Sponge up, wasn't done with it. You can do a tiny dot on this one. go that's it right there hit some black on the nose on those I think before I go rinse that out These are directional eyes, so I have to make sure I put them the right way. Otherwise, my bait will look stupid. Quite literally. Get 
it, point them forward. Got the eyes set, time to clear coat. Then we'll be done with this one. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.